Glory to God. Glory. Welcome to the Pleasant Air Missionary Baptist Church, 1636, North Masterson, the wonderful Pleasant Grove area. Pastor the Reverend Keenan L. Tennyson, this is our morning worship experience, and we're starting this service off going into the water. Glory, glory. Father, thank you, and we praise you for blessing us to be in your house just one more time. Father, as we move to the end of this year, we thank you that you're showing us you're still in the soul-saving business, God. All the glory, the honor, the praise belongs to you in Jesus' name. Come on, those who agree, shout it, amen.
need is Brother McIntosh come to lead us in our communion service. Amen. Amen. How many believe it's in your prayer? It's there. It's there. All praises to the living and loving God, to Jesus Christ, who is my Savior, my Lord, and my Redeemer, and to the Holy Spirit, who guides and directs my daily path. Love, honor, appreciation, and adoration to our pastor, to Reverend Barnett, to all of God's children present in his house today. It was on that night that Christ sat with his disciples that he took bread and lifted it up unto his father and gave thanks. And after he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said unto them, This is my body, which is broken for you. Eat ye all of it. Shall we eat together? And it was also in the same manner that he took the cup and lifted it also unto his father and gave thanks. And after he had given thanks, he gave it unto his disciples and he said unto them, This is my blood, which is shed for the remission of all of your sins. Drink ye all of it. Shall we drink together? And Christ said unto them, As often as you do this, you do show that you remember the great cost that I paid. Salvation is free to us, but it costs God everything. But glory to God that he was glad to pay for our freedom in full. And I'm glad that I serve a God, that I belong to a God that didn't put my salvation on layaway, that he didn't have to make a deposit on it. But glory to God that he paid it in full. And I'm free today to worship him, to praise him, to bless his holy and righteous name. To give him praise in spite of how I feel. To give him praise in spite of what I'm going through. To give him praise regardless to what's being said about me or to me. It's good to know today that I serve a God that cares about me. That's concerned about me. Hallelujah, yeah, today. Let us go to God in prayer. And let me encourage you this morning, let me beseech you today that regardless of what's going on in your life, God still hears, God still answers, and God knows where you are. Yeah, he knows everything, but God wants to hear from you. And he wants to hear exactly what's going on in your life. God wants to hear what you need from him. And let me encourage you today to pray believing that God is going to do something for you. Yeah, he's blessing me and I'm thankful. But the same God that blessed me, the same God that brought me, the same God that's keeping me 
I can't exhaust his resources and neither can you. And we can ask at the same time. God won't get us confused. God won't get it mixed up. And God has a blessing for each and every one of us. But ask believing that God is going to do what you ask him to do. That God can deliver what you stand in need of. Let us go to God in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, who art in heaven, righteous, holy, sovereign, loving, merciful, just, all-knowing, and ever-present Father. Loving God, we come as humble as we know how, bowed before your holy and divine presence, giving you praise, honor, and glory, because you and you alone, Father, you are worthy today. Loving Father, we thank you for the privilege to gather in your house one more time. We thank you, loving God, for healing the sick. We thank you, loving God, for making provision for us. We thank you, loving God, for traveling grace and arriving mercy. Thank you, Father, that you kept us in spite of us. Thank you, O oh gracious God, that you allowed us to lay down last night, sleep in the image of death. You protected us and kept us from hurt, harm, or danger. And then early this morning, you woke us up, Father, allowed our eyes to come open one more time. Thank you for activities of our limbs. Thank you, loving God, that you allowed us to get out of bed. And Father, you gave us peace. You gave us protection as we made our way to the house of prayer one more time. And we bless your name, Father. We've gathered here today to have a worship experience with you. Thank you, O oh gracious God, for allowing us to come into your house. We've come today to hear a word from you. We've come today to see you manifest yourself in this place. We've come today with expectation from you, lifting up our cares, our concerns unto you, asking that you would heal today. Bind up brokenness, O oh gracious God. Bless, O oh gracious Master, with everything that you know we stand in need of. Give us the desires of our hearts that is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Father, you know what we need. Bless this church as one body, but then bless us individually, Father. Please meet our every need, O oh gracious God as only you can. And then, loving God, we continue to lift up our shepherd unto you, thanking you, O oh gracious God, for healing in his body. Thank you for peace in his life. Thank you for joy in his home, O oh gracious God. Thank you that you keep him, Father. Thank you for a word that you've tucked down in him that you will deliver today with power, with boldness, oh gracious God. Thank you for the word that will come forth today in this house. Yeah. Loving God, we praise you today. And we ask your continued blessings upon our shepherd. We ask that you bless the finances of the church today. Please, loving Father, touch it and let it be sufficient for the ongoing and upbuilding of your kingdom here. Righteous God, please, Father, show up today and allow us to worship you in your presence. Allow someone to experience you today and ask what must I do to be saved. Please, God, welcome yourself in somebody's life today that is standing in need of you, a walk with you, peace with you, O oh gracious God. And righteous God, we'll be ever so careful to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Because you and you alone, Father, you're worthy, O oh gracious God. You're worthy to be praised. And we thank you today in the righteous and holy name of Jesus the Christ, your Son, our Savior, our Lord, and our Redeemer. We thank you in his name, Father. Amen and praise God.
Amen. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Before chapter three. <laughs> oh, ain't God good? All right. Time passed. Hmm. Moses grew up. Yes, he did. One day he went and saw his brothers, saw all that hard work. Then he saw an Egyptian hit a Hebrew. One of, the, one of his relatives. He looked this way and then that. When he realized there was no one in sight, he killed the Egyptian. Uh -oh. Buried him in the sand. The next day he went out there again. Two Hebrew men were fighting. He spoke to the men who started it. Why are you hitting your neighbor? All the right. man shot back. Hmm. Who do you think you are telling us what to do? Are you going to kill me the way you killed that Egyptian? Oh, wow. Then Moses panicked. Words got out. People knew about this. Now watch this. Pharaoh heard about it and tried to kill Moses. But Moses got away to the land of Midian. He sat down by a well. The priest of Median had seven daughters. They came and drew water, filled it, the troughs, and watered their father's sheep. When some shepherds came and chased the girls off, Moses came to their rescue and helped them water their sheep. All right. When they got home in their father, to their father, Ruel, he said, that didn't take long. Why are you back so soon? An Egyptian, they said, rescued us from a bunch of shepherds. Why? He even drew water for us and watered the sheep. All right. He said, so where is he? Why did you leave him behind? Invite him so he can have something to eat with us. Moses agreed and settled down there with the man who then gave his daughter Zipporah to him for his wife. All right. She had a son, and Moses named him Gershom, saying, I am sojourner in a foreign country. Many years later, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned under the, their slavery and cried out, watch this. Their cries were relieved from their 
hard labor ascended to God. All right. God listened to their groans and remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. God saw what was going on with Israel, and God understood. All right. I want to talk about being prepared by God. Being prepared by God. You know, we always say this uh, this saying, Mac, he who he calls, he equips. Right. And part of the equipping is preparing you. Yeah. We think when we when, when we say he who he calls, he equips, he gives us all the physical stuff we need. Right. But God gives you everything you need physically and spiritually so you can handle the task at hand. And well, why did you say when God prepares? Because you got to understand, God is doing this. Somebody say God is doing it. You today are not preparing yourself. God is preparing you for something you can't handle right now. And he uses everything around you to equip you. So you'll be able to stand when he stands you up. Yeah. Moses, you know the story. We talked about him last week, the right place at the right time. That was still God. He was all part of the plan. That the, that the, that the king would issue the decree to, yeah. to kill all the boys, five and under. Yeah. Moses didn't be here as long as he can be hidden. The, 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 the river where, 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 where the, old, the new Pharaoh told him to throw all the boys in there to drown is the river that God used to set Moses free. Yeah. So the stuff you're going through, that's what's going to set you free. Yeah. The stuff you think is taking you out right. is really being used to set you free. Right. Thank you. Right. So Moses was born. You know that, don't you? Pharaoh's daughter, son, took him in. Sister was walking. Y'all better see how God moves. And, 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 and walked out there when Pharaoh's daughter walked out there. Yeah. And, and said, you want, me to get, you want me to get a Hebrew to take care of him? <laughs> see, everybody thought Moses was an Egyptian. <laughs> but he was a Hebrew. Right. And he'd been fighting to take care of his Oh. So he go to the house. His mama, say his mama. His mama. Get the privilege to raise her, his, his, her son. Yeah. In the house of Pharaoh. Yeah. Huh? And getting paid. But y'all don't know when God bad. I know you need money. And I need you to raise this boy. So I'm going to let your daughter pick you and let Pharaoh's daughter pay you to raise the child you gave birth to. To, to let you know, to let Moses know, I got you, boy. You were special then and you're special because God prepares us the way he sees fit. Right. God prepares you the way he sees fit. Because he know your assignment from start to finish. All right. He all reveals the assignment to you in bits and pieces. So in his preparing, he's preparing with the totality of your assignment. All right. Not just with the piece you can see. Right. 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 And God prepares. You think you you beating yourself up now? Why did it go this way? Shoulda, woulda. But you got to read the word and say, you got to know that it's God preparing you. Can I bless you again? Even when Satan shows up. Come on. What did Joseph say? What you meant for evil? God had turned around and meant it for good. He, he told Joseph that too because them boys was waiting him on him to do something different to them because the daddy was gone. All right. Now he grows up. 
And what's in you don't come out. He was raised as a Hebrew, as an Egyptian, but in his heart, his blood was pumping Hebrew. And when he saw them Egyptians messing with that Hebrew boy, it stirred up something. Come on! Now, 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 we don't get along, but you can't. I saw this can't miss Yeah. You, you know, me, me and Mac can have our issues, but can't nobody else come interrupt our issues. Because we talking to it. We, we, we doing the dinner with the way we do. Who are you? Now, let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't care what you think about me, but let somebody else remember with you. I'm coming. All right. <laughs> Say, I'm coming. And I'm ready. I ain't coming to talk. I'm coming to lay somebody down. Because you, you ain't supposed to be messing with my boy. That what Moses said, what, who you think you messing with? You messing with my, my kinfolk. Keep your Bibles open. We're going to get right back to it. And the Bible said, it didn't say he beat him up. See, that's really don't fight. I don't fight to, for us to get along and play. No, when I come for you, you dying. Because, see, if we fight one time, you might want to fight again. But Mac, if I go on, take you out, we ain't got to deal with that no more. The Bible says, and he buried him. Uh-oh. Yeah. With me, he ain't coming back no more. Yeah. We ain't, bully, we ain't finna be hitting like you hit. I'm not hitting, I'm not doing that. Call me cow, whatever. I'm gonna pull out that, I'm gonna pull out that judge, and we're gonna be the judge and jury on your goat smell. It's got them long 45s in it, and it's got them 14 shells. So whichever one you want, it don't even matter. I'm coming. And we ain't coming to play. I don't need no little 22. I'm trying to take you out. Cause, cause, cause watch this, Carla. As short as Harold is, let somebody come in there and mess with his family. He's going to be 12 foot tall. He ain't going to be able to see him because he's dark and short. He gonna cut them lights off and go to work. Pow, pow. He gonna hit you in the ankles and the knees, baby. I'm telling you, he gonna, he gonna take you out because why? He here to protect his. But what I was discovering, what I was discovering is, this was all part of the plan to get him where he needed him to be. All right. You gotta read this stuff. Because had he not killed the man and thought he got away with it, uh oh. Ooh, hear me, hear me, people. You can run. What's done in the dark? He looked around for he killed them boys, man. He said, Ain't nobody looking. And then when them two, when them two, when them two Hebrews was fighting, them two Egyptians were fighting. Excuse me. He come out talking to us. He said, What you talking to us for? You gonna kill us too? To say kill us too means you saw me kill them. See, Donna, if them boys had not have saw him, he'd have stayed where he was. See, see, Joy, if they hadn't have saw you, you'd have kept living like everything was fine. But when God exposed Moses to the people to let him know somebody saw you, that was to get him to move. I keep trying to tell you the exposure ain't bad. It's just, it's just what he uses to move you to the place where he can bless you. Right. To move you to the place where he can prepare you. If you hadn't got fired from the last job, you wouldn't have the job you have. If you lead the last man, you wouldn't have the new man you have. I don't know which one you pick. Stuff come to get you to move. Because yeah. we stuff. In my study, the reason why God trained in this way because people are stubborn and stiff necked. All right? You just can't please you. You're just hard headed. You can hear God speak and still not move. 
So I know if you can, if you can hear God move, say, speaking, you don't move, you sure ain't finna hear me. He said, but what I need you to do is just keep putting it out there. All right. I'll, I'll cut the light switch on on those that I want to hear me. I'll do the drawing and the cutting. You just keep telling them what I said. And when we get to this test, this boy done got caught. But look at it. Look, look, look at what he did. I, I, I want to get you this. I want you to get you to understand. He is a deliverer, right? Right. Every time there's a problem, it's because he helped somebody. Come on. Every time there's a problem, it's because he helped somebody. Which means you are called to help people. You are called to deliver people. And what he'll do is he'll get people to trample on you to make you question the assignment that he gave you. Glory. Let him talk. As a matter of fact, you're going to got to hide from the heart you have. Because oh. your heart is so strong, you kill somebody to protect your friend. Not just to kill them. They was invading your camp. Come on. So I ain't going to play with you. A deliverer takes people out. He ain't friends with them. See, when you are a deliverer, you ain't friends with people. You're an assignment from God. And whoever's in your way got to go. I didn't say it. He did. Here you are kissing the enemy. Here you are loving, dovey, hugging up with the enemy. You ain't supposed to hug up with the enemy. You're supposed to gut them. Then you won't think that's spiritual. No, God's spiritual enough. He said, take them out. out. They're not for you or me. They're interrupting my people. They got to go. How you know? The Egyptians done turned on the Hebrews. Uh-oh. They were blessed. They're not amen because they blessed. And the Egyptians are coming for the good. They're coming for them. They made them work hard. I'm, I'm, I'm painting this picture. They made them work real hard. And every time they made them work hard, they produce more. Could it be you ain't producing because you don't got lazy? Could it be you don't stop producing? You wonder why ain't nothing happening. You got to keep working even though the heat is on. You got to go to work in spite of your boss. You got to go to work in spite of your family. You got to go to work in spite of what's going on in your house. You got to go to work because there's a blessing and you work it. You just done stopped everything and wonder why God ain't sending you nothing. He ain't sending you nothing. You done got caught up in the old relationship. Baby, let that go. You about to go. You about to get evicted and sit on the curb because you worry about a no good person that's going on with their life still being no good. They already know they been no good, still being no good. And they moving on still being no good and you dying. Killing the essence of who you are. It's in there. It's right on the page. And, 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 and ooh, what time? Oh, we got good time. That's just, oh, y'all got about two hours. Uh, so look at this, y'all. Look, 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 That boy caught that man beating up a Hebrew and killed him. I don't care what you say about them. That's family. That, that, that my blood. That my blood. See, we, 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 we're, we're family because of the blood. All right. Because of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed it for the remission of our sins. And therefore, he covers us so God don't even see our foolishness, so why should we? And that blood makes us. Put us in covenant with God. Right. And you in covenant, I in covenant, so God's our father, so that makes us brothers and sisters. 
we found, so why are we turning each other down and we got the same mama and daddy? Same daddy. Same triune God. Same Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And you yeah. sit here tearing each other down. That means you don't know it. You, you can't have God in you and not love people. You, you can't have God in you and roll your eyes all day, every day. You can't really say you have God and treat people like that because when you have God, it humbles you because he knows he picked you in spite of you. So it makes you kind of walk different. It makes you kind of turn the other cheek. It makes you look, I don't even worry about that because because when I was doing that, 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 that's what God did for me. He looked beyond my faults. Come on. Yes, he did. He saw my knees, man. He, he loved me in spite of me. The Bible says what? God commanded, ordered his love toward me. That while I was in the act of sin, Christ died for me. Have you really understood? Do you really understand that God commanded his love toward you? That while you were doing your wrong, Christ died so you could live. And you turning your nose up at another human. Now, now watch this, watch this. And, and studying this, right? They got him to move. All right. But one of the things I was looking at this at, at this at this uh, 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 Mac is that uh, God used education to get this boy ready. Yeah. Well, you read this text. Egyptians, with them Hebrews, were very smart. They were engineers. Yeah. Mathematicians. They built buildings in Egypt that are still standing today. Right. Yeah. They created the calendar that we use today. A lot of things were created by these smart people. But even smart people can mess up. All right. See, I'm equip my man to do the work to be smart too. Y'all think I ain't smart, I'm pretty. Yeah, I, I went and got some education, I got some. That's why people always wanna talk to me. I turn on when I need to. I ain't trying to overshadow you or drown you, but when you wanna go deep, I can go deep as you wanna go. And when you go too deep to me, I'm so educated, I tell you, I don't know. I ain't finna lie and talk about, I got, no, I don't know that one, dog. You know, that's a little above my pay grade, but I know the man that writes the pay grades. Give me a minute. He used education. Somebody say use education. Use it. it didn't say they all had college degrees. It said they was educated. See, we don't, y'all missed that. We don't make this all about uh, 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 degrees. And all. That's what he said. He said they were educated. They knew what they were doing. And the things that were going on in the city. That, 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 that's all. They knew what they were doing. And we got some people that are cold trade people. You learn to trade, you, you're educated in that field. Somebody say education. education. You can't learn, sit, yes you can. You can learn how to sit around and do nothing. You learn how to do nothing. You know what nothing looks like. And you know the results of nothing. Nothing from nothing. Gotta have something. If you wanna be with me. It didn't say a lot, it said something. See, you gotta understand in the Bible days, Donna, they they looked at they looked at everything as, as special. When when they when they were letting the men get the women, they got the women that could add to the business. If I own a if I own a a, 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 a bakery, I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna mess with baker women. The woman say, go get that, go get she was she a baker. This don't have no kids by. Do what you wanna do with her. She 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 make cakes. And the cakes she make, you don't make. See, y'all tell y'all know what you're talking about. The women found the men. The women found the women. Hey, how you doing? Now? How you doing? You all right? I'm great. This is a woman talking to her. What you do for a living? You know, my husband on the haircut business. You gonna come meet him? <laughs> Honey, you need to talk to you need to talk to Donna. She got a business that she got. We just started healthcare. She know about it. Won't you go and lay with her? So she can bring that to the. Read. Your Bible. You ain't bringing nothing to the table. Yeah, you ain't even got no table. 
That's why we ain't got nothing. Ain't nobody talking about nothing. Preachers used to marry teachers. You know why? Because preachers couldn't read. So they'll hire a teacher, marry a teacher, and she would read the Sunday school lesson to them. You better go back and remember them old, old, old days of church. And the preacher would get up and normally just preach Sunday school. You know why? He done heard Mac teaching. He can't read. He done his wife done taught it. He done heard the response of the people. So now the Holy Spirit uses him to tie all of it together. I'm in business and you lazy. That don't match. That, 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 that don't match. <laughs> We're going to have a problem. Because we need to be working. You want to take a nap. <laughs> Donald, come on. We got to go get these kids. He told me, I don't like kids. Well, I can't be with you. That's how I eat. I eat with kids. Kids the reason I get a check. Somebody say education. He uses it. God uses education to prepare you. He will not have you be ignorant. He's going to make sure you know what's going on around you. Number two, say number two. He used failures. Uh-oh. Say failures. So why are you complaining about the failures? Because you haven't read that he used them. People tell you you failed, you ain't going to be nothing because you failed. No, that's not the case. You know how many businesses done fail before they stood up? The job you work for, that man lost three or four different times. Lost right. his home, lost his family. He lost a whole bunch of stuff in the process of building that company. Now that company is making millions of dollars, and you had to feed your family. All your homeboys had to feed their family. You had to feed your family because why? He took the failure and built on it, not laid down because of it. Here's the problem with us. We lay down when something goes wrong. We fall, and we look. The Bible says when you fall, not if. Win means you going to fall. The Bible says, Jesus says, I'll uphold you with my right hand. So you don't want to fall, but God tell you you're going to fall. The way to get to me is falling. The way for me to hold you is you got to fall. Come on. And your broke mama tell you you can't make it. That's why she broke. She never thought she could make it. Jeff Bezos went to his dad when he worked in the garage. He went to his dad in for the second time. He said, Mama, I need 95 more thousand. But when this happens, it's going to be big. 95 more. He didn't even tell him what he got the first time. But I'm $95,000 short. You know what? Because his parents believed him. They took a second mortgage out of their house. Do you believe in your kid like that? That's why they ain't doing it. That's why they turn to drugs. You know, parents, we'll trip. We beat our kids. Make good grades. Okay, well, they did. Now, what you going to do? You tell them to go get a loan to go to school. You made them prepare, but you didn't. Now, they went and got the grades, so if they wouldn't have got the grades, you were going to beat them. Now, who get to beat you? Because they did the grades, you didn't save no money. Double. So my daughter went to school. I got that bill. You go to school. Amen. Don't come out of that school worrying about that. You go make your money. Yeah, you go put your time into what you're doing. Hone in on your craft. Do what you do. Fail. Mess up hair. Mess up lip gloss. <laughs> Pull people hair. I don't care what you do. Go learn it. Yeah. See, you don't know how to put a perm on you to burn somebody's head. <laughs> oh, yeah, you go look at me quick. You know, you got them old chemical burns? And somebody said they put that spritz on them chemical burns, them folks about to. You can tell somebody got their hair, their head burned right there. Because I, I, I'm the king of chemical burns. How can you be the king of chemical burns? My help wouldn't take nothing. But you, you know, know those, them old S curls at home? That, they say, leave it on your house for 22 minutes. I had 40 minutes. And it's still in curl. I'm like, I used to be bald for a while. When I got to school, I said, you know what? I'm tired of doing the cut all off. You talking about house. I think I'm going to go back bald. I'm single. I do what I want to do. If I do it, I ain't doing it for you, so it don't matter what you think. Well, 
Because the new one might like your ball. Have mercy. All these other niggas run, niggas run, niggas run around here with these bald heads. I'm going to go bald because I ain't ugly. Oh, y'all so sensitive. I ain't, finna, I ain't finna dress them. I ain't finna try to please you. What you see is what you get. If I'm too big, find somebody little. Part of my weight is my pocket's heavy. Ha! Well, y'all sure don't know how to have fun, but God prepare you. Look at that. I mean, we'll be sitting there. He don't have a car in the world. Pocket's heavy. He, he do what he want to do. Look at you looking up. Now you looking up. Now you looking up. When you got it, you got it. And here what I can't sit down, Reba. Sit down, Reba. Don't be standing up. I'm talking about this. <laughs> Sit down, Reba. When you got it and God give it to you, he's preparing you. All right. Now you send him sense. Come on, man. I wish I could have been in class today. This morning. And to see little Willie face. Now, Kutee been cooking for that man since she been on him. But it was Sunday day when she walked in that, that room for all them, all them men. Was all we was all in there and she walking out. He should have come out. He did not I'm like, what you gonna do with it? Leave it. 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 When he got in God's presence, she still treated him like a man. Amen. Now, now they probably been go get in the car and all the way home. I'm just, 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 just kind of them. That's them Jones. It's just kind of, that's just kind of how them Jones do it. She, he just can't keep it. It can't be a whole day of excitement. It can't be a whole day of us enjoying it. You know, you gonna hit the bump. Why you hit the bump in the road like that, baby? I'm just driving. They, they gonna find something. <laughs> To let you know they're real. But what hit me when I was thinking about my sermon is that man came to men's class. Yeah. And that woman served him differently. Yeah. Where everybody else done wrote him off. Right. She praying and hoping that God write him back in. Yeah. When you fail, right. doing what God tell you to do, he going to stand you up. We serve a God of another change. Come on. How many jobs you messed up, Carla, before you got that big contract? How many times you had to rebraid out leukemia before they became a, a constant client? How many wrecks you had to have before you become a good driver? How many fires you had to mess up, Matt, before you got good at it? Y'all, you got to understand, when God prepares you, he prepares you through failure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Understand, God don't roll like the world ain't margin. When you mess up, God say, uh-huh, let me see what they do. On, keep going, dog. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And he done killed the boy. Uh -huh. Now you're on the run. Yeah. Go to Midian. Yeah. All right. And some shepherds was messing with them women. See, he's always helping somebody that's in distress. It's in him. Just like Hebrew is in him, helping is in him. You run, you beating yourself up because you ain't where we want you to be. He ain't do. What's, what's taking so long? Well, we don't know. Put it up. People say, cook some briskets. I say, I just can't cook briskets. It's an 18 hour process, boo. Uh, you can't call me, sir. Let's have briskets Sunday, not me. Because I ain't going to cook. I ain't going to serve cardboard like you. <laughs> the worst thing you can serve is some, some tough brisket. Your jaws be hurting. <laughs> You still ain't cut through. You miss it is just cardboard. <laughs> but when you put it on that on that on that on that, that grill, 
And don't even touch it. Just keep putting wood on the fire. Don't turn it over. Just leave it. Some of y'all turn it over when you need to lay down. You got the right seasoning on you. You wrapped right. And you're in the right amount of fire. All we got to do is just let you cook. The more you turn meat, the more you lose the juices. Let it cook. Don't touch it. You know what make my chicken so good? I don't touch it. I just put it in the grease and let it fire. You know when the chicken ready when it starts saying, hey, I'm ready. You know chicken talk. She said, oh, I've been here too long. <laughs> Say, man, I'm done. Boy, I'm done. God know when you are ready. Stop trying to be on the plate. You're still supposed to be in the pot. Only the owner can put you on the plate. You can't put yourself on the plate. You ain't ready to serve until I taste you and realize you're ready to be served based on my standards, not yours. God served the food, served you based on his timing, not yours. And here you are mad because it ain't happened yet. You ought to be rejoicing because everybody that waited on God was powerful. <laughs> everybody that waited on God, they was palatable. Everybody that waited on God served well. Have you ever had a half done piece of chicken? All that blood coming all out of it, it ain't good. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, still gummy. That, it ain't ready. Some of y'all are half done. You pulling yourself up on the table to be served. We don't want to eat you. You ain't, a nutri you ain't nutrients yet. You still raw. You can kill me with all that crap you got going on. We ain't bought out. We ain't fried out all the impurities, homie. It hadn't went through its metamorphosis to prepare me for eating. It's still raw. See, one thing I love about God, he ain't going to serve you before time. He ain't going to serve you half done. You ain't going to be tough. He's going to make you so good that people want to keep eating. Because why? When they cut into you, they meet and go. When you see me and finally cut into me, you're going to see God. Right. He run off to Midian, right? And, and, and here's interesting when you look at this. He didn't just say things to say them, right? He said, and shepherds came to mess with the women. A, de a deliverer is nothing more than a shepherd. So what the deliverer has to do, what God did, is put him in the in the arena with shepherd king. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can learn how to shepherd. Yeah. 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 All right. You can't get that. You can't be a shepherd hanging out with, uh, with wolves. That ain't what he said. I'm going to make you hang out with shepherds because I'm showing you I'm going to make you a shepherd. The things you learn from shepherds is what you're going to need to deliver. I'm going to take you to some lost people that I call my sheep and you have to lead them out. But I got to put you in the environment of shepherding so you can see how I work in the field. Come on, right, right. It don't get no better. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Oh, that makes sense. My daughter went a thousand hours to get her license to do her. She needed eight hundred more hours to teach it. Cause I'm on two eighteen hundred hours messing with somebody here. To, to, to not just do it, Mac, but to teach it. I say, why would you go to do it when you can teach? You ain't married, you ain't got no kids, you ain't got no whole lot of bills. Don't go learn how to teach. So if we're going to play, let's play. If we're going to get it, let's get it off. So not only, oh God, not only are you teaching folk, now you're getting paid on the herd that they get to practice on, and the government paying you to teach them. That's four times you're getting paid on one head. 
You think God ain't going to bless you to stand up when you go and do what he tell you to do? How he tell you to do it? Have you ever, have you ever ate my brisket? It's the same every time you eat it. Am I right? Am I right? Have you ever came over and ate a piece of fried chicken? You be talking about Williams who? First time I cooked steaks, we was over Carla House. Well, the first time I cooked steaks with somebody else, we were over Carla House. And uh, cooked these steaks. You see? And, and uh, I soaked it in my soaking juice, which ain't nothing but uh, uh, soy sauce, low sodium. And I seasoned it with that. Uh, what's that? that Montreal steak seasoning. That's all. It's, all, it's already made. Don't. We're trying to be fancy. Just use what's there. A lot of you mess your food up because you're trying stuff. You don't like to try. Just do what they tell you to do, right? So I cooked them steaks, and, and I made some beans, man, baked beans, green beans, potato salad, some stuff. But, but, but them steaks were so good. Carla put her fork down and her knife. She's talking about shoes. This meat too good to be playing with. And it was so tender. Why? Because I left it on, on the heat the right amount of time. Ooh, y'all ain't get it. When you when people cut into you, all right, you're supposed to make the difference. Why? Because God done seasoned you and left you in the fire. Long enough to cause them to salivate when they taste it. All right. And when they go to salivate, one, Donna, when they go to salivate, that means they want some more. You got to be, you got to let God do you so well so people can't get enough of you. Every time they're around you, they want some more. They want your friendship. They want your love. They want your time. They want the fellowship. When it's good, they want all of that and some. One of the funnest things about my dad, uh, he comes over to the house, right? And I, I kind of like him coming over because he look, he'd be so funny, right? Because he, he can scrub and do, he come over there and do whatever he want to do. Say, hey, man, where am I cooking? I said, Billy, you don't live here, but you walk here for me. <laughs> so, so I got him some from the store the other day. He left with all of it. I said, oh, man. When I buy it for here, it ain't for you to take home. <laughs> I say, it's for you when you come over here and so here you come up. Oh, well, buy some more and I'll leave them there. <laughs> but, but, but the joy is he come over to the house, y'all, and I got to leave, and you know my leaves ain't coming right back. When I'm out, I try to knock it all out while I'm out because I stay in, yeah, I stay out of town now. It ain't out of town on this side. It's, on, it's out of town when I go to the other side of Sister Carmen. Sister Carmen. When I go to the Southern, I'm trying to see everybody do everything because that's a 45 minute drive back across. Man, I was gone and left Buddha there. I said, Man, what you do? He said, Man, I just laid out on the floor, man. I just slept like a baby. I said, You ate up everything too because all these empty containers up here. <laughs> but that, that, that's, that's, that's what I was able to do. And not knowing him, I got to know him. The person that I was trying to write off, God wrote in. Yeah. Yeah. The person I said wasn't about nothing was everything. When God presented him right. Ooh. Ooh. But it took 37 years of us not being around to appreciate each other when we come around. He let him run his course, let me run my course. When we came together, it was the right course because God prepared me to lead him to Christ. All right. But God ain't done nothing. It's just been saved for nine, ten years. Baby, that was 40. Try 40 of waiting. 
How old are you, man? How long you been married? 32 years. 60. These last 10 been the best years of your life. Am I right? Am I right? But it was 50 years of nothing. 50 years of wayward living. 50 years of being crazy. Still crazy. 50 years of. <laughs> but at some point, church, uh, yeah. it turns. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. Oh, yeah. When God prepares you, Shema, you ain't got to stand up. He's going to stand you up. All right. Quit trying to rush the needle. Let God run its course. Let God prepare you. And you know what? When some, you know, what, what is that? You know, and you ever bake a turkey? You know, they got the little red thing in there. Let it pop up when it's done. God has an indicator on your life. Mm. All right. Yeah. 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 You will yeah. pop up when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you ain't got to guess this from God. Say, Ping. Uh oh, she ready. Come here. Now, let me create this environment for Kyla. She done, I know she's ready. So let me walk her right on in. What I have. Let me let me get Desiree. She, listen, she done cried him in a year. But she kept going. She done, she done done through a lot. I done took her to the bottom and she's still standing. Mm -hmm. It's time to stand her up. It's, she knows she's getting ready because now God done start answering her prayers specifically. Ah, you don't start rejoicing when you ask a particular detail of your prayer and he answered that. Yeah. That right. means you're, t you're, you're, you're tuning, he's tuning you into him. Yeah. You ain't asking for stuff for you, you're asking for stuff for the kingdom. Uh oh. And when you get and ask for stuff for the kingdom, you ain't going to use it all. He's going to give you something to enjoy for yourself. Yeah. 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 We'll do. We'll do. My God shall supply. Y'all need to look at this word different, man. That, yeah. You sitting here condemning and beating yourself, crying and complaining. Baby, this part is real. Yeah. Yeah. And see, the only way you can understand it is you got to read it. See, yeah. he'll give you a story so when you go through it, oh, that's not like what I'm going through right now. Right. You, you be talking about soul. Man, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me go sit down, man. You you know how you come to church. Man, you on my road. How you know? That's the Holy Spirit. All this, he go to the go to the Midian. He get him a wife. He wasn't even looking for a wife. Yeah. Right. He was running. Yeah. He wasn't going for no wife. He was running to save his life. Yeah. He was running from Pharaoh. Yeah. Went somewhere and helped the people and got a wife. Run for your life and meet your spouse. Right place, right place, right place. Right place. Helping her feed the sheep. And running off the shepherd, she met a husband, a wife. He met a wife. He got a whole new family. So not only are you hiding on the back side of the mountain, I done gave you a whole new family to live with, man. Yeah. Oh God, Don't that sound like the children of Israel? Yeah. When they hit that famine, God brought them to Egypt and gave them somewhere to live, gave them houses to live in, yeah, money to spend, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 plants to plant and grow up and eat food. Yeah, yeah. In a famine. Yeah. A lot of your life unfolds in the trauma of it. Yeah. It's not for you to stay there, it's to move you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. When it's your struggle, they moved you in some areas. You know, that old man, one old man pours, he said, what's wrong with the dog? Ooh. Ooh. So what's wrong with him? Say, he laying on a nail. Say, why he won't move? It don't hurt bad enough. Some of y'all are laying in church. Ooh. Oh, God. God say, what? I pushed the nail up for you to lay on it. When something hurt bad enough, move. Don't spiritualize it. Just get up and move. Ain't this something? Yes, sir. 
This is word, y'all. This, 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 this is straight Bible. You know some stuff. You're going to fail at some stuff. But then this is part of when we talked about humility until this morning. Yeah. As he was serving with his new family, it was humility. Yeah. He realized that God was real. Yeah. yeah. He could have went to some bad people. He went to good people. They, they, they took him in, fed him, yeah. married one of the daughters, and he came up. Yeah. And when he got stable, somebody say he got stable. stable. The text says at the end, and God heard the cries of the people. Yeah. yeah. Heard it? Say why? Because he had somebody he could send. Right. <laughs> when we get to the end, it says, yeah. "Now the people been crying." Yeah. 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 Now all of a sudden, Donald, God heard they cry. It wasn't all of a sudden. No. That was a little old thing in the turkey sticking up. Yeah. I can answer their prayer now because I got somebody to see it. Yeah. You'll know when he heard you because he'll send you what you need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. It took your daddy to move you to come to church. Yeah. To give you a whole new family. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. So you ain't got to go through that by yourself. Because Don been your friend. How many years? How many times? How many years have you been talking about this church? <laughs> Do you hear me? See, some of you are giving up on people. Yeah. Right. Ten years. Yeah. But watch this. It wasn't until his daddy died yeah. that he heard yeah. it. Some of y'all just keep planting the seed. Yeah. And God's going to create a situation yep. for them to hear what he's saying. But you got to be getting developed. You got to stay in the trench. You got to quit whining. You got don't do stuff and you're gonna complain about it. Good God. Cause your complaining just kills the blessing. If the Lord told you to do it, do it. Shut up and do it and do it with cheer. Cause you know who asked you to do it. It wasn't the people. It was God instructing based on the cries of the people. Serve the Lord with gladness, coming for his presence with thanksgiving. Are you serving him with gladness? All right. And how are you doing for free, Kyle? Was that God or you? Or was it you? If it was God, what you complaining about? Huh? It was, she said it was God for sure. A free head. So watch this. See, that's a, you, you can appreciate that. No, that was God. Because I ain't doing nothing for free. Not her. And then watch this. You do it for free, they tip you, honey. Yeah. It may not be from them, but somebody else will bless you. Because you obeyed God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, are we in this thing? Yeah. Quit looking for blessed believers. Yeah. Stop looking confused. Yeah. Read his word. Yeah. Understand how he moves. Yeah. He's going to educate you, he's going to let you fall, and he's going to humiliate you. Humiliation don't mean you humble yourself. It means you recognize that God is more powerful than you. That's all humiliation means. I recognize that God is more powerful than me. And when you understand that, see, you got to be right there for God to really use you. Some of you can't be there because you still think it's you. You still think you're better than God. You still think the world revolves around you, and it's really not you. Come on. And the reason why ain't nothing happening to you because you think it's you. God ain't sharing his glory, people. He is not sharing his all the stuff you have. It's because he gave it to you. All and you better call him, you better recognize him on it. All the stuff you don't have is him developing you. So if you only praise his name when it's good, then are you really praising him? You gotta call his name when ain't nothing working. Lord, how I thank you. Glory to your name, Father. You're worthy to be praised. You'll make a way out of no way. Hallelujah, God. You're able. To do what? Exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask or think. You got to say that on the front end. You 
make him turn stuff around. Yeah. 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 Now, Lord, Lord be talking. Me, yeah, you know he is. He called it. Now he done, Now he go. He done messed me up. You know you can mess God up with His word. Yeah. You tie His hands. Oh. Yeah, you do. Now see, he, hear, hear what he say. Hear what he say. You know what he say. You know what he say. Say, you know what he say? That boy always talking about me. Dumb. Am I lying? All he do is text. When I, when I had lunch with one old guy named Brian went to church, he said, man, I get a text from Don every day, seven days a week for the last 10 years. Yeah. My God. 10 years? Y'all do wake and bake once a month. Oh, Lord. Come on. Oh, too sleepy. Let's let the day. Stay. <laughs> Some people longer. Yeah, yeah. 80 people across this United States. What you texting? Mm. You, see, you texting your problem. You need to be texting the scripture. Yeah, yeah. See how many respond to your text when you text that word? Yeah. Yeah. See, everybody going to respond to you when you, when you when you're telling your mess. See, that's why, the, that's why social media and all that stuff is right because there's a bunch of mess out there. When you send the word, people stop calling you. They'll stop texting you. They'll stop coming around. But long as it's mess, oh, hey, honey, how you doing? Good morning. Hey, 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 what's happening? Uh, good to see you. And then when somebody sends you a text spiritual, oh, what do they want today? You know where they are. That's the scripture. Don't you see that scripture? Every day. How many years? Long time, huh? To people you what? And care about. He ain't just sending them texts to anybody. Am I right? Am I right, Don? Those are people in his phone that he know, love, and care about. Come on, man. God, we slow. Come on. My God. When you think about, listen, the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for you, your soul should cry out. When the last time you texted, hallelujah. Make what's hallelujah for? God is good to me. Sit that viral. Sit, let that go viral. Some of the craziest stuff that go viral. You holler on the phone and they. Fifty thousand dollars, fifty thousand people like you. You just hollering. Yeah. So people are weird. <laughs> Jesus said, "Oh no, here they go, here they go with all this spiritual stuff." What are we talking about? You ought to be a proud. Somebody say proud. To share what God has done for you. All right. You'll be proud and humble that he would deem you worthy to be in his picture. Right. You mean God picked me? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Mac. <laughs> you ought to hear Mac. Man, Mac be getting Mac be losing yeah. mind when you think about where he come from and where he is now. Yeah. Man, God. Man. He saw fit to bless me to be able to do that. He saw fit. He saw fit. My God. I'm so glad he saw yeah. fit. Thank you, Lord. My God. Thank you, Lord. My God. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're to think about you. Thank you, Jesus. Little Willie. Oh, thank you. Now, he seven foot tall. Foot tall, we call him Little Willie. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I, I mean, no, 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 no. Thank you, Lord. Just think about it. All you've been through. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. Not him, you too. Think about all you've really been through. Yeah. yeah. Man. Hallelujah. You see what happens? When you think about it, you can't help but to give him glory. Yes, sir. When you think about it, you can't help to do them a wave. I mean, it makes you do something when you really just think. Willie! Think about it, Doc! All you can do. All you messed up. All you took. All you hid from. And God to you. Oh! 
all the stuff you done said and done, he still deemed you worthy enough to be used by him. Think, think, think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. I, 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 it, it ooh, Lord have mercy. I mean, just think, it ain't all about, I mean the good too. Think about all God has, all you've been through, Donna. And he still saw fit. All the wrong you've done, and he still saw it. You in a low spot right now. You ought to tell the Lord thank you. Because you could have been gone. Right. And all God is doing is using all of that. Somebody say all of that. All of that to prepare you for the time when he's going to put you up in front of some people. My God. I remember how angry I was at Bully. I remember how I wanted to write him off. But being around him, I know who I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool because I know him. And I didn't have to Say this at his funeral. I get to tell him, man, I love you, dude. I don't care how many kids you got, I love you. And I praise God for you. Somebody say, wow. He just holds his old street evangelist. He hang out with them folks in the street telling them about God. When they see him coming, they drop their head. Yeah. Because yeah. they know he's finna talk about that word. Yeah. Bully got more money now than he did when he was yeah. right. He got newer stuff now than he did when he was yeah. He can enjoy it now because he ain't got to look over his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't got to rush and sell his stuff because he got money coming in. It ain't a lot, but he got peace that come with that. Take a little old wife, these some ice cream, not have to worry about nothing. Yeah. No, you gotta get her a plate. She don't like just ice cream. She like to eat. But you just think about y'all. I, I, I really I think about that kind of stuff. Yeah. He prepared me to be his son. I, can I go all the way with you? He wouldn't let me hang out with him when he was in the streets. Mm. Somebody say why? I wanted to be around him so bad I probably would have sold up. I don't need you to say that dope. I need you to slam his word, boy. Yeah. So I'm going to keep you from him yeah. till you're strong enough in me yeah. to go speak to him. Yeah. Right. Without going his mouth. See, when you stick around long enough yeah. and let God develop you, right. he'll stand you up with them people that you yes, need to say when he know you can handle it. Some of y'all go too fast, and they, now you just done relapse. Yeah. You're going around them people too fast. You done relapse. You done, they done suckled you right back in. Yeah. No, you can't do that. You ain't mature enough. You got to be strong enough. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. He here for 40 years. You left him two weeks ago and you still think you can no. Wow. You quit him yesterday. That's why he back Thursday. You ain't strong enough. Block the call. Don't come around. You know why? Because you go around him too soon. They're vultures. They're going to suck the blood out of you. They don't want cooked meat. They want raw meat. Oh, you missed that. They don't want cooked meat. They want raw meat. They want the meat with blood still in it. Because blood in the meat says there's life in the meat. That's why he told us don't eat the blood. Don't consume life.
Oh yeah, you can eat meat. Put all these, all these, all these folks tell you to go vegan, huh? so, so they can make money. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Parker, brother, brother Bowman said, "Honey, I need everything on the pig from the root to the tutor." Yeah. I'm 95. Yeah. Down with them people. Yeah. He said, "Too much of anything will kill you." Yeah. Yeah. When you cook it right and bless it right, you can eat it. Yeah. Think about the vegetarian. You don't stop buying meat. And you find vegetarian. All that vegetarian. You still fat. <laughs> I'm eating vegan. Well, baby, you growing up. You might need some meat. We, we, we follow every wind and doctrine. What did he say? As a matter of fact, when they got out of Egypt, he started letting them eat meat so they can build muscle. Because now they finna have to fight. But here's how you cook it. So you can get strong and build muscle yeah. for yeah. war. Uh, for war. And we in a war, you ain't talking about, I ain't eating no meat. Yeah. That's why you get took out. You ain't strong with them. This is a warfare. This is a warfare, man. Yeah. Boy, ain't nothing like some good meat. All right. Cook right. Boy, when they should be the other day, that meat was so good, I won't stop that man cutting that meat. Woo! I want you to knock, come and put your face down here. Let me just knock you out. This meat's so good. What a cook at? Am I right, Don? Uh, uh, Carla, you getting ready? I mean, listen. Yeah, that's she knew God. She knew of God, but she know God now. Yeah. See, he can't use you when you know of him. He use you when you know him. Because you don't waver yeah. on your decisions yeah. Yeah. when he say do something, you run at yeah. it. Uh, let me think. No, you ain't ready. Yeah. You, can't, you, can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, right. Spending time with Brandon, we were talking, I said, Brandon, that ain't it. Baby. What, what, what do you mean, Pastor? We're praying too hard, and this stuff is working. We asking God to not do what he, we asked him to do. God doing what we ask him, we ask him to not do. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, we say we want the, 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 the people that ain't supposed to be there to not be there. Well, they ain't there. Oh, yeah, Why are we asking for them people back? Oh, God. Yeah. Go, now, God sent us the right people. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that what we did? Yeah. And the right people showed up, and he ain't got no stress. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It is stressful and a lot of praying to deal with people God ain't told you to deal with. Yeah. It is hard, Donna, yeah. to deal with people yeah. that you ain't supposed to deal with. Yeah. You're trying to make that fit. That ain't it. Yeah. Brandon, chill it now. We, 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 we still praying. But yeah. I pray to shift it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Father. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. He, he, he was cracking jokes and getting back right now. You know what I'm saying? We do something different. Go, go eat some ice cream or something. We serve a big, we got to let God run the school. I say, when, when, when you, when you, when you talk to somebody, yeah. and you do business with them, and they don't show up, and they don't call you, what happens when you go to work and you don't call and you don't show up? Don't you have people down there? What you do when they don't call them no show? You ain't calling them no more. Because I called you because I needed you. And when I needed you, you didn't show up. So here it is. When you let God prepare you. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are half done. I'm trying to You ain't all the way ready yet. You're not all the way. You're not all the way. When you're real done, the bones fall out. Yeah. Have you ever cooked some meat and and them and them and that meat just fall out of it? Yeah. That's when it real turned in. The mock says, you, you you sucking the whole maul of meat, come on. <laughs> so what do you think God's preparing you for? Uh, if we 
dudes I mind over tend to fool. When God opens somebody's eyes to eat from you, yeah. you must be succulent. Yeah. Better be able to taste you in the bone. Yeah, there are people sucking bone when they get to eat. Right. Yeah. That flavor being that bone, man, you just can't. When God has equipped you, yeah. when God equips, yeah. did I say when God equips? Yeah. Yeah. People lose their mind when they taste yeah. it. Yeah. People's lives are changed right when you stay in the oven long enough with God. Yeah. You know what we say? Mm. Well, it might be ready at 14 hours, but I'm going to give it four more. Mm. Four more hours is just slow cooking. What do you say? It's already tender. You know how you pick off of it when you cook it and just taste good? You cook for a taste zone for you pick it. Ooh, this is so good. Uh, About four more hours, it's going to be right. So for those that don't have teeth, they can still eat. Yeah. You ain't got no. <laughs> God don't leave nobody out. Right. That's all I'm trying to get. He don't leave nobody out. God does not leave anybody out. That's designed to eat from you, Donna, when he's setting you up. So he's going to make you palatable to everybody that comes your way. Yeah. Some part of you is going to move every person that comes your way. Yeah. No crazy, Donna, she can cook. Mm. Don't let her fool you. Yeah. That girl, that, you can tell her mom was old from the country. That can cook. Wanda can too. I'm gonna give them a plate. Cause they be they be wasting all my juice with these. They cheap with these little paper plates. All my juice is in the plate. Yeah. Done sucked up all my juices in the plate. Can't even eat the plate. Green juice gone. <laughs> Little paper plate. Meatloaf juice gone. They can cook, man. And when they cook it, Matt, it's act like it tastes like they had me in mind. Now they cook for their family, but it tasted like to me they had me in mind. Cause you feel that love, man. Man, crazy they are. It still ain't gonna stop me and Lee Budge from meeting when we get to heaven. But them girls can cook. You can eat her yams and they're not mushy. Yeah, yeah. She know when to take Ooh. Are you getting this? You know when to take it out. Now Don can fry some fish. I don't know we I don't know what he put in that fish, but he fried that fish. I mean his fish standing the tissue on the plate. Don't move. Them fries and them husbands, all of it just right. Like you say, move if you want to. What am I saying? Just like you develop what you cook. God develops you for what he needs you for. Yeah. Give yourself some grace. Yeah. And understand that God makes no mistake. It's going to be what God says it's going to be. Yeah. And ain't nothing you can do about it. That's why he sent his son to die, yeah. to lay in a grave, yeah. and to get up. So he can get up with all power in his hand and change it to be what he wants it to be, which is for us to have eternal life. The doors of the church are open. Yeah. You may be wondering. If you're here, I do the same thing. Don't have a church home. Don't know God. Today is a good day to come to God.
Amen. Let's give the Lord a head clap of praise. Israel is not saved. Jacob shall not lose his reward. It is offering time. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Come on, everybody. be way at the back. As you do know, we took up our Thanksgiving offering last Sunday and Thursday. If you have yours, put it in the box. Amen. Lord, how we thank you for the gifts. Bless the givers. Pray and ask me to use for the building of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Melanie Bronson. Come on up, baby. Amen. Come on up. This certifies that Melanie Bronson was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit on the first day of December 2024, President and Missionary of Baptist Church of Donna Mallard, foster mother. Amen. She is so excited. Doshi. Pernell. This certified 
at Doshi. Pernell was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit the first day of December 2024. Present here, Missionary Baptist Church of Alice Pernell and Sylvester Pernell. Man, we was in class. She was, was so excited about being baptized. And I helped her. Uh, she got real excited. I said, baby, if you die today, you saved. Because you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You believed in the death, burial, and resurrection. I said, let me teach you something. The reason why you get baptized is that the, you're asking the church to hold you accountable to what you said happened inwardly between you and God. So that's what baptism is all about. She really rejoiced when I told her she was already saved. There is no salvific power in baptism. That's not why you get saved. You get baptized because I am saved, not to be saved. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, you want something else? Oh, come on. Uh, Sister Camilla said that we'll be rehearsal Wednesday. Wednesday for those of you that have your speeches. And, and that part, is that the... Is that the play too? No. Okay. Practice Thursday at 7 for the play. Wednesday doing church for the kids with the speeches. And they tell me how excited these kids are about these speeches. They memorizing them and everything. You remember, that's what kind of helped us. You know, mom and them, you know, they wish, wish we would get up there and not know our speech. You be talking about, what is wrong? Not the way you know all them songs. Hey y'all. So it's the first Sunday this year. I mean, every Christmas time we do gifts for all of the kids. So we will be doing, you know, pulling the name. The only requirement is in order to put your child's age in there, you have to pull a name. Um, the requirement for the budget is a $10 minimum. And then we're also asking that you guys actually get gifts, not gift cards, because a lot of the kids, they actually be excited like to open something up versus an envelope. Um, leaders, we're asking y'all as well, please, to pull a name so that we can make sure everyone gets something. Thank you. I'm going to have a basket, too. Amen. Our hearts and minds clear. Oh, 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 yeah. Let, let, y'all, let me say this before we go. When you come to church late or you go to the bathroom, please don't walk up this front aisle. Go to the end. If you go to the bathroom all the time, you may not sit at the end. So, because when you come down the main aisle while I'm preaching, we see you. So, and that kind of disrupts the picture. Amen. Amen. We got food in the back. We got pizza today. We thought about the kids. We got pizza. Amen. Aaron. Our hearts and minds clear. Any guests here? Oh, we're going to have a Sunday. I could, couldn't make them. Uh, if you're first time, it's your first time here, would you stand up? Let go this one. Anybody else? What's your name, buddy? Who? Good to see you, man. You going to come back to see us? You going to come back to see us? Okay, praise the Lord. God bless you. You came with Dosha. Look, you already fish. Pull them in. Let's stand. Let the church say amen. Mm -mm. God has spoken.